perfect introduction to this place. We're in the plateau. Montreal is a city of boroughs. There's 19 different boroughs. Each one is different, has its own kind of distinct identity. We're looking forward to having a day of exploration. It's an area with an artsy vibe. In fact, the highest concentration of artists in all of North America. Look at how hip and cool Montreal is, guys. We got an Airbnb and we have live entertainment right outside. We got old people dancing, taking pictures. We got churros. We're meeting up with Danny from Spade and Palacio. He's going to show us around the rest of the plateau. We're gonna go exploring, we're gonna find some food, and we're gonna look at some amazing graffiti art. This is such a beautiful neighborhood, as you can tell. Colorful buildings, turning up the trees. I just think the city is so beautiful. It's a very French. Yeah, it's lovely. Around here. It's so beautiful here. The plateau is Montreal's Soho and Greenwich Village put together. Served by the Mount Royal Metro stop, it's not just progressive and smart, but improbably well situated. We were here a year and a half ago. It was a hell of a lot warmer. Yeah, it was summertime. We were probably standing right here. Right here. <laughs> L'arrondissement compte plus de 105 000 habitants sur 8 km carrés, ce qui fait comme l'arrondissement le plus densément peuplé de toute l'île de Montréal. It won't surprise you to know that I've imagined myself living in Montreal, and when I do, I always imagine living in the plateau. Tout le monde vous le dira, Montréal est une ville où on se sent bien. Il y a quelque chose dans l'air. Une sorte d'énergie douce qui séduit immédiatement. The neighborhoods here kind of have character. Like they, there's a kind of spirit in the air. Really surprised with the culture here. It's a very vibrant city. It reminds me a bit of New York in terms of the layout, not in terms of the way it looks. Like look at this. This looks old European. Most of the buildings here are older. They've got that French style, those unique looking staircases winding down from the second or third story. It's just a really cool vibe to this part of the city. A truly distinctive architectural feature of Montreal is the outdoor staircase. They can be spiral, L-shaped, or in a straight line. In a city that can have a long, brutal winter with over 200 centimeters of snow, these outdoor staircases don't make sense. All these staircases. We were saying it kind of reminds us of New York. Never been. Bit. Never bit. been. Oh my god, I'm so happy to look at those houses. If you walk by and you just can't even believe they're homes because they're so beautiful. You can't even get over it. It's so beautiful here. We put the challenge to resist to the little houses and the escaliers in collimation. We love to get out just to look at the facades. Okay, architecture. Canada, you have it figured out. It doesn't compare to South Dakota. South Dakota doesn't even come close. The architecture here is gorgeous. Look how pretty this street is. So pretty. I want to live here. Oh my goodness. Look at it. What do you think, Emily? And they got these like curvy staircases. Outer staircases date back to a period when wealthy Montrealers built their homes back from the street with exterior staircases. The trend was adopted by the middle class and the design became a fad. The rich folks were not amused. I wish we'd come here earlier. What took us so long in our lives to come to Canada? Talk to me about what it's like to live in the plateau. I choose to live in this area because people have a really good spirit about things. You can bump into artists, actors, painters. There's a certain energy that you feel. You've lived here your whole life almost. Yes. What's your favorite thing about living in Montreal? The diversity. The people, they're friendly. Being back here is definitely making me realize like what I'm missing. I'm actually realizing like Montreal is actually a really, really dope city. This place is absolutely insane. It's beyond words how beautiful everything is. I just want to say Montreal is so beautiful, bro. Sometimes you forget how places make you feel when you've been away. It's just, it's like so different here. It's just how vast of an array of aesthetics there are that are blending together. There seems to be a pretty deep street culture because everywhere you go, there's so much art. This area is famous for its street art and its murals on the street. And so we're gonna be keeping our eyes open for that. Even in a residential area like this, you'll just be walking down some street and then suddenly it's like, whoa, look at that. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at all of this. So um, there's like murals all over this place. And Danny, that's for a reason, right? Here in the plateau, we estimate that about one in 10 people make their money off the bar. For an art lover, this is like a haven. It's spectacular. Great place to take photos if you're trying to flex on the gram and stunt on your friends. Oh, take a picture of her, she said. There's another one. Take my picture. What the heck's going on here? A bunch of pink hippopotamus hanging out in the snow. I feel like it's a party that I wasn't invited to. Wow, this is so cool. 
It's one of the things I really admire about Montreal. One of the first things I noticed when I moved here. The public artwork that they display. That fellow in the back is Leonard Cohen, famous musician from Montreal. Lyrics from the soul. And also the public places to sit and hang out, like what you see across the street. Every summer, the city puts out these temporary public spaces. For example, this sand lot right over there, that's, that's on the street. You can see Alyssa is absolutely enjoying us. That's right, that's right. And they're all very different. They're all really well done. I lo literally love all just the streets in Montreal. Yeah, it's really pretty. pretty. You feel so much more like, oh my god, I thought that was a real person. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I've got to admit, there is one thing I need to complain about when it comes to Montreal, and I mean this in a sarcastic way. When you're on the way to going somewhere, you just keep coming across amazing things. This is just magical. We're now on St. Laurent Street. It's like midnight right now, and it's so busy out here. We picked this street to walk down because there's a bunch of cute little bars, and now we stumbled hey. upon a little concert. <laughs> it is the Festival de Art. That's why this whole strip is closed. How awesome is that? We came to check out the festival going on. There's so many like restaurants. We found the infamous Schwartz smoked meat shop. And he's like, I'm not leaving Montreal until I try a smoked meat sandwich. But look at the lineup. It's not too busy right now, which I'm very happy about. There's no line this... because I've never been to Schwartz and there wasn't a line, so that's pretty shocking. Very yeah. rare. I'm just gonna sit here and observe this. He's gonna watch me. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> if you've been to Schwartz, you know it's fire. Oh my god. So we went to Schwartz, had a smoked meat sandwich. So good. We're just gonna grab some croissants. Look at this. You guys did a tour through Canada. What's your favorite city in Canada? I'm gonna have to throw in Montreal yeah. though, because Kitty Cochon. The best restaurant that we've eaten at in the entire world was in Montreal. We're gonna get some foie gras poutine. This is the place to go. Hands down, Au Pied de Cochon, best poutine in Montreal. Amazing. I have to say, Montreal, you are doing it right. I like how quiet these streets are. It's like we're riding around a little village. You know you're in a French-speaking city when your bike has a place for a bottle of wine. So let's turn right here and check out a laneway. Right here? Yeah, right here. Oh. This is like a cool little hidden garden here, huh? Uh, this is one of the 360 green alleyways that we have in Montreal. Basically, it's a project where the neighbors get together to embellish and beautify the space. They get funding from the borough, and then it's really up to the neighbors to maintain the project. So this was a city initiative that the, the community picked up. Exactly. I mean, anyone who's lived in a big city can tell you that typically back alley is just kind of that street that you try to avoid. But what Montreal did is they decided, you know what? Back alleys don't have to be these places that we avoid. They can actually be cool parts of the urban landscape. Here's a little free library. Oh, I mean, I feel like this is just a hidden world. Just look at this one. It's so green, you almost can't see the end. So cool, isn't it? We also have very big trees. When you hear the sound of the, of the leaves, you really feel like you're in the middle of the, of the forest. Another library. Of course, you got some, the occasional hockey net. This is Canada, after all. It's just these little moments that personalize the city more. And when you get to go down this lane, you get to be a part of Montreal in a way of life that is very unique. Yep. And you know, there might be some Montrealers who think I'm getting excited about nothing. But to me, there's something very Montreal about these green alleys. It speaks to kind of the communal spirit that we have here in the neighborhoods. Another one of those free libraries. Speaking of green spaces, here's a nice park. The one, the only. Park La Fontaine. Every time I step into this place, my energy changes. The Montreal vibes. We have very sophisticated parks in Montreal. I love the green spaces in this city. There's all these relaxing spaces everywhere. Park Fontaine and this square. I'm in St. Louis Square, which is the closest looking to a European neighborhood that you can find on the side of the Atlantic. There are beautiful Victorian houses with all different colors that were built over a century ago. An amazing time in Montreal. I come every year, honestly. The people, the food, everything is good. J'aime Montréal. I love this city. I want to move to this city. I want this city to embrace me as its own one day. 
hopefully. Guys, this has been a great day of just exploring the plateau. We had no real plans. We just wandered around for like eight or nine hours. Hopefully I can come back to Montreal ASAP. Love it here, absolutely love it here. Great food, beautiful people. I don't want to leave this neighborhood. I don't want to leave Montreal. These guys are moving in with me in Montreal. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool. Wee. I believe Montreal is such a slept on city. Please come here. I highly recommend it. This is an amazing city. I've been here so many times and uh, just never get tired of exploring this place. It's worth going off the meeting path a little bit. Get out of old Montreal, get out of downtown, and come explore this area. So you're from the United States. Yes. What do you love about Montreal? The openness, quality of life, the diversity, raising children in a bilingual and multicultural environment. I think that for a lot of people, they've come to Montreal looking for something different, and they found it here. An enchanting city. It's the most beautiful city I've ever seen. Most beautiful city I've ever visited.